with Jacob Rascone is live at the facility tonight. Jacob, this month there has been a big increase in those numbers. So here we're talking 15 times the amount of people already in the first two weeks of this month than they had the entire month of June, more than 3,200 people. They've had about 1,000 volunteers here the entire time, the two and a half months that they've been here. And they say while it was stressful, while it's been tough, they've been able to handle it. The Family Transfer Center in North Houston suddenly filled with migrant families. In its first month, June, just 233 people arrived, bused from the border by NGOs. This month, in its first two weeks, nearly 15 times as many people, thousands, all from Central America. Marco Antonio, his wife Lillian, and their two daughters, Catherine and Darlene, walked and bused here from Guatemala. We thought of our daughter's future, Lilian says, and here it is much better. Estudiar, study. You're going to study? See? See, yes. Busloads arrive from McAllen often, once more than 600 people in one day. Piles of donated food, clothes, and hygiene kits disappeared fast. Carlos Villarreal helps run the facility. Towards the end of July, when we saw an increase in COVID here in Texas, we made the decision to only help migrants that have been tested along the border and have proof that they're negatives. The Antonio family now off to Pennsylvania, where a friend of Marcus has offered him a job and a new life. To give a good future to your family. By the way, there's supplies here, the clothing, the food, the hygiene kits, all of that was replenished fast. They don't need any more donations here, in fact. He also added, Carlos Villarreal, that at the border there is some confusion about COVID shots. They didn't receive a bus today, in fact, because they couldn't figure that out. He thinks that'll be figured out later this week, and they'll again receive sometimes two to three bus loads per day. Reporting live here in North Houston, I'm Jacob Rascone, KPRC 2 News.